This is Lindsay Mann from cloud9stampers.com. And today I wanted to share with you such a cute card. This is using the Whale of a Time Suite. And I love the different textures we're bringing into it. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is run a piece of three by two pool party cardstock through the embossing machine and get that really fun texture for it. And then you're also going to cut a piece of designer series paper from the Whale Suite. Um, at the same size. So those are going to be your two pieces. You're going to bring in a piece of Bermuda Bay, and this is cut at three and three quarters by five. And we're going to go ahead and add the designer series paper to the front, as well as the textured card. Before stuff. you stick down your designer series paper, I have just brought in a piece of the vellum square doily and I cut it in half. And now we're going to create texture for our little background. So this, because this is a, a three inch piece of cardstock or sorry, designer series paper, you can just go ahead and line that right up. And I'm just going to use my snips to take off a little bit of the excess here that's kind of looping out the side. Now we'll make sure that we've got enough adhesive and we can go ahead and add that onto our card front as well. So next I'm bringing in a piece of the designer series paper that has the coordinating image for the build a whale punch. And we're just gonna go ahead and punch out one of the images. Isn't that cute? I love it. Just like that. And I've also brought in some, some dimensionals to be able to hold that in place. And we're going to put that right over top of the Ocean Designer Series paper. Next, I have a piece of Whisper White uh, punched out at two inches. And we're going to bring in Pretty Peacock. We're going to stamp the greeting, you're kind of a big deal. And then you're going to bring in 30 Flamingo and use the cute little heart punch and just add some hearts around it like that. Next, you'll bring in your dimensionals again. And we're going to add a couple to the back and then stick that over top of the textured cardstock. Now I'm bringing in some of the pool party ribbon and I'm going to create a bow, so I'm just using my bow tire. So put the ribbon on the opposite side of the pegs. You're going to switch hands so it crosses over. The one that's on the bottom will go through at the top, and the other one goes through at the bottom. You're gonna give it a quick tug, and then you're going to tie a knot and slide it off. You can go ahead and cut off the excess ribbon and then use a glue dot to be able to hold it in place. So we're just going to stick it at the bottom of our greeting here. Next we'll bring in our card base and we'll fold and line up the edges and then give a quick press with our bone folder and now we're going to use our stamp and seal to add the card front to the back. So there we've got our card front on it. The last piece is you're going to bring in the elegant faceted gems and you're going to take the clear ones and make it look like we've got a little bit of spray coming out from our whale. And there we have our finished card. Isn't that cute? Have fun.